Toronto is one step closer to adding 50 photo radar cameras to school zones by the end of this year. A committee forwarded the motion to City Council today without a recommendation. That motion will now be debated by Council at their July meeting. But the move didn't come without concern from some committee members who say they want more information. I'm interested in the privacy issues. I'm interested in the technology issues. Um, we're going to have these cameras in for years. And, and I'm not comfortable approving a report that we could actually put over for three months to get all our answers, complete the testing bef before we, we take a decision. Um, I don't want to find out after the fact. There are far too many circumstances, there are far too many examples where we actually buy the wrong piece of technology and then we're stuck with something that we don't like. A photo radar pilot project was introduced last September in eight school zones to collect data. It found almost 250,000 vehicles going over the speed limit over a four-month period. In one incident, a car was detected going 202 kilometers an hour in a 40-kilometer zone. The testing of cameras is still ongoing, and it's not immediately clear how much they would cost. Provincial legislation was passed in 2017, allowing automated speed enforcement in school zones. But regulations surrounding the law have yet to be enacted, and the city can't issue any tickets until that's done. Mayor Tory says he fully supports the initiative, and he wants to see it in place as soon as possible. If I am a strong supporter, it was me who first raised this with Premier Kathleen Wynne. Uh, and the only thing that dismays me, quite frankly, is it has taken as long as it has uh, to get it actually implemented. Uh, it's been about three years since I raised it with Premier Kathleen Wynne. I don't happen to believe the provincial government should have to say yes to this. I think it should be our decision. Now, city staff say they've been working with the Ministry of Transportation, the Attorney General, and other municipalities to set up a joint processing system, and that resources for the program are included in the city's 2019 budget. They estimate by 2020 the program would generate over $7 million in revenue.